Hey guys, I'm Phil the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We're nearly there, actually. We are. We have two cups left. Um, let's, who should we go with? Uh, oh, Lakitu. Yeah, I was talking about him last time. Where is he? There he is. Cool. He. It's so weird to play as Lakitu. I always, whenever whenever I think of him, I think of him as like, like the referees or the sports like guys, um, cameramen, that sort of thing. Like they're they're all, they're in behind the scenes. Sort of things for the for the Mushroom Kingdom, so it's just kind of interesting that you can play as them here. I just like that, so I figured why not? Let's uh, let's play as like you do. And we only got two cups left. I debated um, making the next two cups maybe one episode as a big finale. Then I was like, no, that's that's cheap. Um, you know, just putting it as one episode uh, and forcing people to sit through a much larger area uh, uh, episode. Might as well split them up to two. Plus, I think there's a credits thing at the end of the last cup. So this is a uh, Baby Park, it's stupid. This is like a really well liked cut or uh, track. I don't really know why. It's just a regular oval. Um, I love the background. Don't get me wrong. The idea that there's like this amusement park, which fills me with questions. Like there's okay. So where is this? You can see Luigi's Mansion over there, and this is like kind of a, a not a real Peach's Castle and stuff. So it's like a little Disney World style area with attractions, and then you have like. Bowser Jr. has its own ride, and then you got the babies everywhere. Is this like, it's like a, a statue of Princess Peach in the background too, Baby Peach? So is this like canon? Is this is there an actual big friggin' park somewhere in Mushroom Kingdom, or is this like in the past? Because all the iconography on this park is based on the babies, so it's like, is this something that was around, like in Mario and Luigi Partners in Time? Do you know what I mean? Or is this like the adults got around and said, you know what would be really cool? Uh, if we made an amusement park based on our baby selves, then I know I'm reading way too much into everything because that's just what I do. But like, it just it's just really odd. So they, either, either they're adults, adult Mario and Luigi and Peach were like, let's make a, a, a baby park for some reason. Or they were babies and then, I don't know, Toadsworth or whoever was taking care of them was like, I want to monetize these children. I want to make sure that they are always in the limelight, no matter how young they are. This uh, has been a crazy race, though. <laughs> I think that's why people like it, because it's just, it's so jam-packed. Everyone's always with everyone. Like, you can be, like, two laps ahead of someone because the track itself is so short. So, and that's probably one of the, the perks about it, is that there's always stuff going on. So, it's very hectic. So, in that sense, yeah, it's, I guess it's fun. And I guess they did as much as they could of the backgrounds as possible. I mean... With the level itself being so small, I, I guess they can't really do much to the actual track. I mean, they made it kind of inclined. I don't know if that has, an, has anything to do with, like, the way your physics will work, but whatever. Uh, next up, we got Cheese Land from the Game Boy Advance uh, game, Mario Kart Super Circuit. Super Circuit has a lot of really kind of weird tracks. Cheese Land's a perfect example. Uh, there's, like, a Ribbon Land later on, too, that's also in the Game Boy Advance one. It's weird, weird, but what they deal with this level is just super cool. Like, the, the kind of... Tilted leaning power of leaning power leaning tower of Pisa cheese in the background. Uh, that's the background of the actual Game Boy Advance version of the game. So it's really cool to see like 3D version of it instead of just like a flat background that's just always in the back. Um, this is just a really cool level. Uh, it looks like the craters you can actually jump off. I was avoiding them, I thought they were bad for me, but I guess I can jump off them. So I guess I'll try to do that. But uh, I like the way they did the um, Mario Advance. Are they Mario Kart Advance levels? Because in the actual game... Oh, that's not good. Oh, damn it. That's not good. Crap. Uh, the tracks themselves are fairly short. I mean, they're, they're supposed to be five laps instead of three. But when they brought them here... Oh, look at that pizza in the background. That's so cool. Like, wow. That's so imaginative. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So so they had to make the the actual tracks longer. And they do such a good job. Because they're, they're super short in the original Game Boy Advance and in the uh, Super Nintendo version of, of, Ma of Mario Kart. And they also didn't have, like, hills and dips and stuff because it was Mode 7. So, really, really just gorgeous rendition of these Game Boy Advance ones. There are, I believe, three Game Boy Advance tracks in Mario Kart 8. There's this one, there's Luigi's Circuit, and there's Ribbon Land later on. I think that's all of them. Um, it's a shame that the Super Nintendo game only got two because I... It sounds really weird, but the ones I want to see redone the most are the ones from the oldest systems, because they're going to benefit the most out of the redesigns. Like, man, Donut Plains looked 
freaking beautiful in HD and completely redone in 3D. It's just gorgeous. So that's the kind of stuff that I want to see. Ooh, mushrooms. Yay. Oh, damn. Chain shot. That wasn't good. So yeah, having Cheeseland redone just it looks freaking gorgeous. And it's just really cool that they were revisiting stuff. Because Nintendo's gotten into this kind of groove. They'll revisit stuff, but it's always from the, the same like two games. It's always like Mario 1, Mario 3, Mario World. But you'll never see stuff from like Mario Land revisited. You'll never see like Mario RPG stuff revisited. And I find that's a shame. So when you see like Mario Kart, and they're like, all right, let's revisit Mario Kart freaking Super Circuit for the Game Boy Advance. I'm all aboard for that. That is just awesome. Keep it up. Super cool. I'm almost done here, too. I'm, I'm good at talking for a long time. Oh, well, I'm also good to getting kicked on the face. Jeez, I'm getting beat around a little, a lot. Boy, that chain chomp. I know there's um, that flight thing up there, but I can't do that without a, a mushroom, or else I'll just be on the sand going super slow. Third place, wow, I actually might make it. That went pretty well. Use that up now, and then I can use the red shell. Good, nice. Wow, that ended up a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Woo! Go lucky too. Look at him. He's so happy. He's also got a very different shell. He's like a swirly shell. Not swirly, but there's like two rings on it instead of just the regular. Like, is I guess he's technically a turtle. Is he a different type of turtle? Yeah. Just want to see that. I want to see the uh, me coming out of nowhere there, at the very end, doing really good. Take that, Mario. No. Oh, is this is this it right here? Yep. Yeah, slow mo. Yeah. See ya. That's so cool. Uh, I love the ones they usually choose for these. I guess you can go back and view some of your older ones. It's like the last few races you did, you can go back and see the uh, see the, 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 the whatever the highlights or whatever. Uh, that's really cool. I didn't know that. This is Wild Woods. It's not based on anything, but it looks really cool. Actually, it reminds me of Sonic Adventure Two. I don't know the name of the level. Green Forest, something forest. I don't know. This is just a cool looking level, though. More, uh, more shy guys, more toads. Look at that. It's so weird. You're going straight up at the beginning. It's really interesting. Oh, uh, by the way, if I haven't said this already, I haven't played much of the DLC tracks um, because I played the crap out of Mario Kart 8 when it was coming out. When the DLC came out, I was kind of, I was done with Mario Kart 8. Let's just say that's that's one of my big problems with the DLC is usually by the time the DLC comes out, I'm fairly finished with the game and. It's, it's hard for me to kind of go back and, you know, whatever. Um, take this. So we got, oh, nice. I can't believe that hit, actually. Um, so I, I did end up getting the DLC, like, right before uh, the Switch was, like, officially shown off and that Mario Kart 8 was going to come out for it. And I didn't really play much of it. I, I think I played through the cups once, and that was it. So this is, like, still fairly brand new for me. And this level's gorgeous. Ow. It's something you, like, you'd see from a, like, a Final Fantasy game or something. It's just really, really cool. I've always loved the whole climbing up and going downwards in the, uh, in the, 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 the gravity sections, kind of. Like, Shy, Shy Guy Falls is one of my absolute favorite from this game, just because of, like, what you're doing. You're going up a waterfall, then down another waterfall. It's just friggin' badass. So this one's very, very cool. It also is, like, so Shy Guy is kind of their own, like, little houses here. It's really cute. Even their, uh... Their houses actually look like Sniffets. That's another enemy you actually don't see all that often, which is really lame. You see a lot of Shy Guys, we don't see Sniffets. Or like Bezos or Fanto. Bring Fanto back, man. There's so much from Mario 2 that they should bring back. Uh, I said this like in my um, NPC for Mario Maker, how Mario Maker should have a Mario 2 mode. I don't. I really don't get why there isn't. But like in just the regular Mario games, or in the 2D Mario games, I'd love to see just a lot of Mario 2 stuff come back. And the closest thing we got to that was um, Super Princess Peach for the DS, which is a fantastic game. Really, really good. And you could pick up vegetables, and you could pick up enemies. And it was basically like Mario 2 Part 2, uh, but as Peach only. It's very, very cool. I like that. But yeah, bring... Oh, jeez, that's going to make it. Woo! Uh, bring back a lot of Mario 2 stuff. It'd just be freaking cool. I mean, with, with Mario Odyssey right around the corner, like in two more months now. Well, the... Mm, two, two, three months, something like that. Um... We could see stuff from Mario 2 or Mario Land. There's so many Mario games. I mean, like, like legitimately, there are a ridiculous amount of Mario games. So you could borrow so much from the older Mario games and bring it back and do it in new ways. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, that sucks. Frig. Ah, uh, why did that red shell hit me and no one else? Oh, well. 
Um, yeah, there's so much to the Mario lore, or whatever you want to call it, that ugh, they could just bring back so much. It'd be incredible. Yeah, I want to see, uh, see how close that red... Yeah, it's not going to show it, is it? No. Frig, never mind. I want to see, like, the shell looked like it was going to hit someone else. Like, it looked like it just kind of swerved on me. I don't know, maybe that's just me being a jerk. Being like, oh, dude, I didn't want to get hit. What's the last level here? Oh, right, Animal Crossing. This is a Crossing Cup, after all. This is a beautiful level. Look at this. So, the Animal Crossing level uh, is really cool because it can be one of four levels. It's always the same track, but it's either um, spring, summer, fall, or winter. It looks like we got the summer one here. I think this is summer. Yeah, this is summer, I bet. Um, and that makes sense. It's summer now. We are August, so, you know, having some summer fun. It is actually extremely hot where I am right now. I'm in, I'm in Canada. I know most people out there who aren't from Canada are like, really, it's hot in Canada? Oh, yeah, it's definitely hot in Canada. Don't get me wrong, it's get, it gets friggin' crazy freezing in in, uh, in winter. But you're in the summer where I am. I'm in New Brunswick. It's on the east coast there. And it can get really, really hot and super muggy because you're near the water, and that doesn't help. Oh, oh, it's just beautiful. This beach is gorgeous. Beaches are not something nice we have in New Brunswick. Our beaches are blech, polluted, and just not, just not nice. Like my driving right now, not nice. Hey, Tom Nook. I've actually never played uh, more than a few minutes of an Animal Crossing game. I, I can't get into them. I've tried a few times. Every time a new one comes out, I'll try it. And it's, ow. And it's, it's maybe it's just because like I don't like sim-type games. Because I need specific goals, I guess. And I know that in Animal Crossing you can set like specific goals. I'm doing really bad. Like, good thing I was only in the second lap. Um, but yeah, I, I can't get into Animal Crossing. That's just me. Wow, got both of them. My wife was super in Animal Crossing for the longest time, and she really enjoys it, and that's cool. I love the character designs. I don't I don't know a lot about Animal Crossing, but I know a lot of the characters and stuff just because I love their designs. Oh, jeez. Okay. Just blow myself up. Frig. I hate how the bombs will blow up just when there's an enemy nearby, and I mean that's good because it means I won't blow up no for like nothing, but it means that I'll smash myself in the face like I just did. Oh yay blue shell! I love being able to see a blue shell, get an enemy and not me. Love it, and I got a mushroom. Nice, yeah, and smack. Nice, that was awesome. Oh, I should kept my mushroom for here. Get a little shortcut. Oh, I got a red shell. Protect myself later. That's good. Oh, for, oh never. Oh jeez. Okay, wow. Apparently oranges give me the runs. Oh, I should have gotten that one on the left. Ah, oh, well, too late. No, I had no idea the fruit did that, actually. That's pretty cool. I guess it got me back on track. But I did lose my red shell, so that kind of sucks. Whatever. I complain about nothing now, because I'm in the lead. And I think I'm good. I, th I think, even though I got that fourth place last time, I think I'm good to win. I wasn't paying attention. Crap. Oh, oh, jeez. Come on. And third. Oh, oh, good. Second place. Yeah, second. Oh, maybe not. Maybe. Oh, I'm so bad with the fire. Oh, Mario, where'd you come from? Oh, I'm in front of Luigi. Whatever. So where am I here? That was fair. That was still a really good uh, match, anyways. Yeah, I'm, I'm way ahead. Oh God, yeah. That's. Wow, that is. Uh, that's peaceful music. It's almost. Uh, it's almost romantic. Let's listen to it a little bit. It's like if I was. Uh... Waiting for you with a candlelight dinner. Hello, out there. Let's fill in the blanks here. Sexy Let's Play her. Anyway, anyways. <laughs> yeah, that was a uh, weird music. Very weird music. Oh, well, so, um... I guess it makes sense it was Animal Crossing, but... And what's it gonna show? Oh, Baby Park. I guess a lot of things happen at Baby Park. You know, banana peels, red shells. Uh, why would it show me getting hit? Screw you, Luigi. Twice? Why would you show twice by baby Luigi? Wow, Luigi's like out to get me this time. He's throwing me shade. Look at that. Yeah, I take that and I still won. I'll teach you. You jerk. You jerk. <laughs> uh, so 1142, not too bad. Just kind of letting this play out. Padding my episodes. I'm just joking. Well, I kind of am, I guess. Because I'm not doing any more battle stuff because all the battle's done, so I still want this episode to be somewhat decently length. I like to have 20 minute episodes, but I mean, in a game broken up like this, I kind of can't. Anyways, uh, we got one course left, so uh, yeah, I'm filling the blanks. I'll see you guys next time for more. Let's play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. See you later.